Okay, this is my first ride on the new tires. Um, they're super sketch on the street. <laughs> they just wobble all over the place. Not not by, uh, not out of balance, but the tread just really tracks funny on the road. But I can't wait to get out on the dirt. It's gonna be good. Okay, so the tires have safely gotten me to the trail. Um, they do a bit of this on the road, and that's not totally unexpected. They're not designed for the road necessarily, or at all. Um, but yeah, not too bad. And, and when you have a tire that does that, you just you let yourself know that's the way it's going to be. You allow yourself to relax a little bit, and then you just enjoy it. Yeah, it hooks up a little better. It should. This is really dry, kind of powdery dirt here though, so it's not going to be a massive difference yet. Um, when these tires are really shine is when there's a little bit of rain happen. Not sloppy mud, although they would do in good, good in sloppy mud, but uh, just kind of a little bit of soft mud. Well, I like the way they feel. They feel a little bit more cush. I'm running the same uh, pounds, 18 and 20. 1821 I think it is um, they feel a little bit softer likely due to a softer sidewall which I did notice when I was installing them and again totally expected what I'm really curious about is how all the front end holds because that was my issue before the back end slid around a lot before, which doesn't bother me a whole lot, but the front end really jumped around a lot, so I'm curious how this is going to hold now. So kind of like on the road, I feel like it's darting back and forth a little bit more than normal, but at the same time, it feels like it's holding. So it doesn't feel like it's going to wash out on me like the other tire, which the other tire has washed out on me. I haven't crashed because of it, but um, you can totally feel it's coming out. Now this, like I said, it's going back and forth, but I feel like it's sticking. It'll be interesting on a good side hill how it feels. I think a side hill is going to be a ton better. So in this dirt right here, this is kind of soft powdery with rocks mixed in. Um, it's actually a lot better than my other tire was. My other tire back there would have been real iffy. The front end would just seem like it's going to come out from under you in any second. I'm not feeling that way here. It's going back and forth a lot, but I don't feel like it's coming out from under me. And of course, I'm riding real easy right now. I'm thinking the faster I go, the more benefit I'm going to notice. Yeah, like right there is really deep, uh, soft, sandy, powdery dirt, and uh, it held that just fine, and before that would have been a big issue. Yeah, I totally, like where I aim the tires, where it's heading, which is nice. I've never had that on this bike yet, so that's going to open up new possibilities for me. Unfortunately, my eyes are a little funky again today. So I can't see these holes as well as I'd like to. Some of these are big enough, I don't want to hit them on accident. My front suspension is feeling a little bit firm today. Uh, maybe I've got air pressure in me. Oh yeah, my shocks were really full of air. At least that one was. Let's see if this one is. Couldn't tell on that one as much, but my left shock for sure let a bunch of air out when I released it just now. It's definitely better. Still not as cushy as I'd prefer, although, I don't know, that's actually a lot better. Now that I'm hitting some more bumps. That might have been all it was.
and these little five six inch rocks just beat the heck out of your wrists at least me my wrists are kind of i don't like being banged around a lot either because of my joints so this hill i i never have trouble climbing a hill even with the other tires um but i definitely spun up a hill a lot so i'm gonna see if this one will spin up that hill or not oh no just total grip that was nice So I'm back on my stock height suspension right now. So turning around and stuff, I gotta pay attention to keep the high side of the hill, otherwise I'll tip myself right over. So coming down this hill, I definitely was skidding the whole way down with the other tires. Yeah, I have, well, I'm skidding some, but I have a lot more control. Which again, is to be expected. Like right there, it just grabbed right on, lifted me up. Yeah, it's interesting when I give it gas after a turn or through a turn, it doesn't just break loose like it used to which is actually going to be nice. I'll be getting a lot more power to the ground where it belongs, which probably means better mileage too, which I know on a dirt bike doesn't usually matter, but when you're 100 miles out in the forest, it does matter. Well, that was dumb. I was trying not to ride the edge of that and then I don't know, you know how it gets sometimes where you're looking is where you're going. That's what I did, so I was on the edge of it, but fortunately it didn't actually slide down, which I was ready for that time, but I still didn't want to do it. But yeah, my old tires would have slipped right into that hole. And again, this is all to be expected. I just have never run a good tread on this bike, so it's kind of exciting to finally feel it. I've always known it would be a little better, but I always wanted to keep my road um, longevity, you know, because I ride the road a bit. I wanted to make the tires wear a while, so I never really went with an off-road tire. I'm sticking with 50-50s. It's definitely funner on the trails, which is where I prefer riding anyways, so I will continue to run tires like this on this bike. Bart, I have to say thank you so much for these tires. I'm super excited to be running on them. I do wish you were here riding with me today, but I understand and I hope you're getting well. Okay, so I made it down to Park Creek. Yeah, the water level's going down quite a bit from the last time I was here. Still cool. little climb up a hill here and we'll be back to the main road again. <laughs> All of a sudden there I could not see the road. So I don't know what the camera is seeing as opposed to what I see but my eyes aren't good for one, but I'm also wearing my glasses and uh, I have the lens down on my helmet. So I know what is coming through on the camera is a little different than what I'm seeing. 
But back there, I was just white blind. I couldn't see the contours on the trail at all. Again, oh dang it. Again, I couldn't see. And I did hit a pile of powder there and almost let it go. And it's dirt when the sun hits it like it does. It, parts of it just disappear on you. Can't see what's going on. a Mormon immigrant. So I'm going to go left here. Uh, first I'm going to take a look at the tires, make sure everything's cool because I did just mount them yesterday. Uh, all right. Still got good pressure. Oh, they did wear down a bit already. Yeah, they probably aren't going to be very long lasting, especially hitting the roads like this, but Super cool on the dirt. All right, let's go do some more. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna take next. I'm gonna try and hit a trail I've never been on. I love exploring. Okay, I just had to come back on camera to say, I really got the balance right on this set of tires. I'm super happy with it. Um, I'll get up to speed here, 55, 60. Yeah, I was just riding 70 a minute ago and these tires are like super smooth. It's really, really nice. It's starting back and forth left and right a little bit, which I mentioned before. But as far as smoothness, it's just really buttery smooth. Now I'm still not gonna slam through these turns on these tires because that's not what they're designed for. But yeah, you know, I'm cruising here at 65 and it's just super, super smooth. I'm real happy about that. Anyway, just wanted to mention that. Pilkin Fire. Cost to put out this fire was $2.225 million. So they're replanting out here. That's cool. Yeah, I was wondering why all the logging. I was wondering if it was fire or um, disease. Because we have a lot of diseased trees up this way. So this is definitely not as off-road as I had planned on doing today. But it's still interesting exploring like this. That would be a nice creek in the wintertime. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is like creek areas I can come back to and hang out at. Bring other people to, things like that. Got a shooting range there. I actually know where I am. What a trip. I think I rode out that way. Yeah, we did. 
So this way is supposed to be a hard trail where the road is washed out. So, um, Corey showed me this a couple weekends ago, or last weekend or something, whenever it was. We came in that way across this bridge here. I'm a thinking, yeah, if I go back that way a little bit, there's a creek crossing. I gotta get my feet wet to do it. I'm a thinking I'm gonna go up this one because he said it's really hard. He said it might be impassable even, so let's find out. Well, bummer. I just rode a pretty cool piece of trail. This is all brand new to me. Um, Corey showed me this area a weekend or two ago. And he said, this road I'm on right now, I'm going to get to a washout that may be impassable. So I, I haven't run into it yet, or they fixed it, one of the two. Okay. She's been doing awesome all day. Love the tires. Um, but I just came across this, and I thought I would go. Oh, Clayton Valentine was here. thought I'd go see why we are closed. Why we can't get through, and if we can't get through. Um, looks like I got a little trail to go around here on a bike, which I do. Yeah, I can see why this is closed. It's a long ways down. That's probably a 20 foot drop here. Uh, so I get it. But, like I say, somebody has worked a little trail around the side here. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. And hopefully we don't have another washout. I, I heard there might be more than one, so we'll see. So this is one of those situations where the sign is just a suggestion. So what I might do, my camera died. What I might do is I might run a battery pack to it, um, in which case I won't have audio. But it'd be fun to run through this with you guys. So I'll see if I can get that hooked up. So on my way home from the trail, I run into this. Well, I didn't actually run into it because of my ninja reflexes, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool to see this up here, that you're using this for logging today. I had been hearing it throughout my ride, so it was kind of cool. Well, that's all I got. I uh, will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.